What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another West York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Fifth Frame Brewing Company, and they're out of Rochester, New York, and this is their Clawfoot Bathtub, the Espresso Moose Cake variant. So they are calling this one a pastry stout with espresso beans and chocolate cake batter. It comes in at 10% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. And this can is just over four months old. So fifth frame. I love what they do, but the last beer I reviewed from them, which was their Blizzy, the uh, mixed berry, what was it? Mixed berry cotton candy vanilla soft serve variant. Uh, that series is like a dessert slash pastry sour series, but it was over the top for me. The can I had anyway uh, poured out like actual like ice cream and I was, when I was reviewing it, I was actually like eating it. And it was just, put it this way, if dessert slash pastry sour beers are going to go uh, towards that type of like body and mouthfeel, then they have officially jumped the shark for me because was not a huge fan. The flavors were great, just it was kind of gross drinking slash eating the beer. Uh, but I really like what Fifth Frame does. So redemption time, hopefully here. I've had a couple beers within this Clawfoot Bathtub series. They've been really good. They are sweet. They're pastry stouts. And this one has espresso beans and uh, chocolate cake batter. And I saw a few friends on a tap. Really liked this one a couple months ago uh, when it was first released. Whatever it was like, you know, just like I said, just so four months ago. Uh, that was the, you know, canned on date. But anyway, um, this sounds delicious. And the reason why I picked it up is I think maybe the espresso beans and being coffee in here in general might uh, stop this one from being too sweet. Anyway, I kept this upside down because who knows how many goodies are in here. So when I pour it, they're all in there because uh, we have the smaller fifth frame glass. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. So that looks like motor oil. We're gonna do something like that. that that's pouring out like, like a smoothie sour. I don't know if I've ever had a beer as thick as this right here. Holy shit. Like it's terms of like a, an Imperial Stout. That's crazy. That has this gross chocolate look to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it has this like murky uh, kind of like chocolate brown look to it. Uh, the head's going to keep on rising. I might, if it rises too, I might have to take a sip if it rises too much, but it has about a finger, probably going to go to like a finger and a half of this like just straight on brown color. Um, kind of like a, maybe a little darker than I enjoy my coffee, but that's a beautiful looking beer, but it's also gross at the same time. Uh, on camera, I'll be a little, little, little bit darker, maybe even pitch black. I don't know. But in person, it's definitely 100% like a deep, dark, excuse me, brown, uh, like a chocolate brown. Anyway, let's get a nose. That smells fucking awesome. You know what that smells like? Holy shit. So if you're uh, a Canadian viewer of mine, you know all about coffee crisps, right? You know all about coffee crisps. If you're not a Canadian viewer, you might know about coffee crisps. I've mentioned them maybe you know a handful of times in reviews over the years. They are a chocolate bar that has coffee in it and has chocolate. And it's like a cookie kind of um, feeling to it or a wafer, I should say. It's like basically a chocolate covered like espresso wafer type of thing. And it's fucking delicious. Anytime I see them here in Buffalo, uh, I grab a couple of them because some places don't carry them. And it's just fucking delicious. There's, that's all I can say. It's fucking delicious. This smells like you melted that down, honestly. Like a liquid, a liquid coffee crisp. There's not much else. I mean, I'm getting chocolate, espresso, almost like a wafer-like kind of feeling to it. This, I fucking, it's like they, they took coffee crisp, they melted it down, put it in 10% Imperial Stout. I'm going to sit here and tell you this smells like um, a big, you know, roasty Imperial Stout and this, that, and the other. No, because I am just getting liquid coffee crisp. It's a liquid coffee candy bar, chocolate candy bar. I, I'm not going to spend any more time on the nose because I can't really get anything else. So you can see all the, like, you know, if this was a fruit sour, I'd say pectin, but this is just like the remnants probably of like the cake batter and whatnot. So anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. I hope that this isn't crazy sweet because it doesn't smell crazy sweet. I hope that it's fucking super balanced because this might be one of the best pastry styles I've ever had. If it is, let me give it a good taste. Cheers. It's one of the best pastry styles I've ever had. Hands down. It might be a bit too sweet though for that entire can. But is that fucking up there? Yes, it is. Holy shit. And this is the craziest fucking mouthfeel. This is like one of those fruit smoothie sours, but in a 10% pastry style. This body is like fucking, it's straight syrup. It's so viscous for something like this that I don't think I've experienced anything like this. Fire, fireworks outside, in case, you're, in case you're wondering. 
but it had it happening the last couple days. And um, the grand finale is happening right now. So anyway, let's go. Uh, let's, so b body, it's fucking thick. It's full bodied. It's ridiculous. The mouthfeel, definitely undercarb, soft, smooth, creamy. The body mouthfeel is reminiscent of somebody fucking melting down like an espresso, a cho like a, a chocolate espresso like uh, ice cream. That's the best way I could explain it. Like that's, that's fucking crazy. But it's not off-putting because it's an imperial stout, you know, or a pastry stout. Like I kind of welcome that. Like it's kind of weird sometimes in like those dessert sours. And this, I think it works extremely well. The taste, I, I'm not going to say your bullshit you and tell you it tastes like 75 different things. Look, if you're a purist and you want this to have be an imperial stout with some of those like espresso mousse cake flavors, no. This tastes like somebody took a coffee crisp, liquefied it, put it in 10% beer, and you're fucking drinking it. There's chocolate, like a nice milk chocolate. There's that espresso bean that's coming off sweeter because it's mixing in with that milk chocolate. It hits you right at the front of the palate, carries on through. On the back of the palate, I am getting a slight like acidic kind of coffee bean thing going on. And it, it is definitely sweet. It is not cloying, though. I said I don't know if I'll be able to drink the rest of this. I think I'm going to be able to. This is the perfect dessert beer. If you don't want to pair, like, if you're somebody who likes pairing a beer with, like, a, a dessert for your dessert, this is, like, it all encompassing the dessert and the beer. It's fucking absolutely divine, honestly. Pour the rest in here. I mean, this is fucking, it's cra It's pouring out, like, you know, chocolate milk, but even thicker, like, or, like, a whole, like, a whole chocolate milk as opposed to, like, a 2%. Like, it's, yeah, this is fucking really good. Definitely lean sweet. Not not cloying, but definitely lean sweet. Um, no bitterness. This is listen, ten percent. I I little bit of warming in the chest, nothing on the palate. This is fucking great for a pastry stout. Honestly, it is. Um, I just, I'm kind of shocked. I can't give it a perfect score because I think I'd want a little bit more balance. I do. I really do think I need a little bit more balance and a little bit more complexity. I like that as a coffee crisp kind of melted down, but to get that world-class five out of five rare score for me, it needs to have a couple things that it doesn't currently have, but I'm still going to give this a high fucking score. So Clawfoot Bathtub, the Espresso Mousse Cake. Variant. So Espresso Mousse Cake, sure. I've never had an Espresso Mousse Cake. Maybe it tastes like this, but this is to me coffee crisp, the chocolate bar melted down in a 10% Imperial Stout, and it's fucking divine. So anyway, this beer... No problems giving it a uh, high 4.75 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.8 out of 5. One of the best beers I've had this year. And I like it. Now, when I, so a lot of people, you know, debate me about the, those smoothie, slushy, heavily fruited sours being beer. This could be debated. Is this beer or is this like melted down ice cream or something? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really have many beer qualities. If I really fought for it, maybe a slight roasted malt quality. Maybe a touch of like an earthy bitterness, but I'm really grasping uh, for straws at that point. Like it's, 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 this is just, this is dessert in a glass and it's 10%. Uh, price point, I think I paid $7 for that can for something like this. Fucking 10%. Espresso beans, chocolate cake batter, fucking pastry stout. Yeah. Yeah. Sign me up. That's seven bucks. I, yeah. I'm going to feel good after this and I'm going to love every sip of it. Um, the availability, fifth frame only gets distro here in the West New York area as far as I know. Maybe a little bit. Uh, downstate towards like uh, Syracuse and Albany, you know, somewhere around there, but I don't think they get much distro. So if you're not in the West New York area, you probably can't get your hands on this stuff. Maybe they get on like Tavor, some, you know, maybe, maybe some of their shit shows up there. But if you love chocolate and coffee and you like that combination and you see a can of this and you're in West New York area, pick it up despite maybe it looking, you know, kind of not all that appetizing, it's fucking delicious. And not much more to say about it. awesome beer. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another Western New York Wednesday. Check back next week, next week, next week for another installment. I actually don't know what I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I have to go pick up a couple beers because I don't know how many Western New York centric beers I have right now in my fridge. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by until the next one. Cheers.